separate video. I'm addressing everything that's wrong with the car. So the major things, like I was saying, was the water pump and then the AC compressor. You can't really see, but it's separated. That's a hazard waiting to happen. So I'm gonna replace both of those. I have the parts already. It's just more or less getting down to the fact of taking it apart and then reassembling it. Let me show y'all what it sounds like. And if you have one of these, you know what to listen for and what it looks like. So let's hop in it and get it started. <laughs> All right, so first things first, we got to take this uh, timing belt off, and that's just taking a breaker bar. They conveniently placed the tensioner right here, and all you got to do is pull down on it. The belt slips off. It's the beautiful thing about these older cars. It doesn't take much to work on them. They're very straightforward and self-explanatory. And just like that, belt is off. I don't know if y'all can really see, but there's a lot of buildup around it too. So I got some brake clean where I'm gonna spray all that off and get all of that off. In order to access this, you have to move this AC canister out of the way. So, go. It's kind of a difficult angle to tackle. We ain't gotta loosen it all the way, just enough to be able to take the bracket off go and then there's another 10 right here by the battery that we got to take off too it was finesse the system there we go and then we got to take this beam going across the top off so we can slide it up. And we got to take this other side off. And just like that, that should come off as well. So now we can remove the AC in the canister to have better access. There we go. Yep. There you go. Most of these bolts on here are 10, so that 10 millimeter has to come back out. I wish I would have charged my Milwaukee electric ratchet, but leave it to me to be unprepared. I'm a professional. Now I can barely see it now. It's a little difficult to get in here, but there's a bunch of 10 millimeters going around the perimeter of the water pump. So I'm just working to get all of them off now. Let's see. We finna grab this Milwaukee. Maybe it got a little juice in it. Nope. Dead as a door now. Be alright. We're just gonna have to resort to manual labor. From the last thing y'all seen, all I did was take all the 10 mils out and then you also have to take the pulley off. So those are 13 millimeter bolts. You gotta take all three of those out that'll come out and then you'll have access to get the other two bottom 10 millimeter bolts and then you can get the rest of it off. There was really nothing to it uh, off camera. I was able to get the water pump off. So here is the water pump. 
there are now that I have it in front of me there are three 15 millimeter bolts one two and three everything else on here is a 10 millimeter and then you're gonna have two bolts right here with hex heads these hex head bolts right here um, not sure exactly what size they were but I was able to take one of these out of my socket set this is a 7 8 hex head um, and I was able to get that off with those so now it's off I'm about to clean the mating surface clean up the hardware and then reinstall the new one with the new gasket and that should be all to that piece of it all right so we got the surface clean now we just gotta install the new parts you know I always go with Felpro from rocking the gaskets it's a brand that hasn't done me wrong yet you know what I'm saying but let's put this on now we're just throwing the gasket back on and then securing that mug in place get the new water pump That came with a gasket, but you know what I'm saying? Is this Gates too? This is Gates. So, I mean, I'm just gonna rock with the Fell Pro because I had already bought it. And that's what I did on my other one. I went ahead and used that Fell Pro. And let's get this bad boy on there too. And now it's just the reverse order of what we did. How we. Took it off, we put it back on the same way. 